Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 24th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we're down just a bit today. We did not manage to break above the all-time highs, and at this current stage, it looks like we are going to retest the middle of the bullish band yet again, which is roughly at 4,220. And if that breaks, then we have the 50 moving average down here at the 4,185. And then if we manage to break below these previous candlesticks here from, from Monday session, then we could be looking at 4,000. Otherwise, if we manage to break above here, then 4,400 comes into play. Of course, if 4,000 basically breaks, then we're looking at a major drop towards the 200 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still flat, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is technically bearish at this current stage. It's turning around at, at the moment. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did really well on Monday, really did well on, 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 on Tuesday, but not very good on here on Wednesday. It looks like we ran into... Uh, quite a lot of resistance at the 20 exponential and at the moment we could be dropping back towards the middle of the bullish band roughly 33,560 uh, give or take if we break below the previous counseling from monday then we could be looking at uh, 32,000 and probably also the 200 moving average down here at 31,000 so um yes the market did really rally on, on Monday, but uh, it looks like it's running out of steam. It's not just the S&P 500 and um, the Dow Jones. It's also the European, especially the European indices that are kind of looking really weak at this current stage. We'll see that in a moment. But if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we're looking at the very highs again. We also have a crossing here of the 20 and the exponential and the 50. And that, of course, is also a fairly bearish sign. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So let's look at NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is getting fairly stretched here to the top of the Bollinger Band. We were trading at the all of highs at the 13,327, uh, give or take. Uh, technical indicators are still very bullish for the NASDAQ, but um, the pullback at the end of the session could signal that we are going to test the middle of the bullish band yet again roughly uh, 13,900 give or take then that we have the 50 moving average down here at 13,750 the uh, bottom of the bullish band is around 13,500 and of course if we break below these previous lows here uh, back in the beginning of may then we're looking at the 200 moving average um and underneath the 30 uh, 13,000 uh, a level but um, we're quite far off at this current stage we're still in a really nice upward channel and pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band have been bought into and it looks like 15,000 will still be the target at this current stage so let's look at the german DAX. so as you can see we had a horrible day here on wednesday really good on monday fairly good on tuesday but wednesday has given all the gains uh, away that we have gained the last two days and we're trading just above the 50 moving average technical indicators for the dax are not looking really good macd is very bearish the stochastic is bullish still cci is bearish and the rsi is bearish if we break below the 50 moving average and the candlestick from monday then we could look be looking at 15,000, and if that gives away then 14,500 and the 200 moving average all the way down here at 14,000 will come into play. Otherwise, if we turn around, take out these previous candlesticks, then we are looking at around 16,000 to the upside. So let's look at the UK. Let's see. And the same thing here. It looks like momentum is uh, running out. Very good on Monday, fairly skittish on Tuesday and today. Tried to rally and gave all of those gains back, trading underneath the 20 exponential. So if we basically break below uh, 7,000, then we are looking at the previous lows here, 6,950, give or take. 
If that breaks, then 6,750 uh, 6, and the 200 moving average down here at 6,550, your day will come into play. But we're still in an upward channel and um, there are quite a lot of barriers that we have to break through in order to drop towards these levels. We're still in a fairly nice uptrend and um, most likely 7,000 will be an area where people will start buying again. But uh, today's session, not really good. Very uh, bearish looking candlestick indeed. So if you look at the MACD, it is bearish. The stochastic is bullish. The CCI is bearish. And so, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 did try to rally up towards the 50 moving average and then really got rejected, creating this shooting star. And at this point, we could be looking at a pullback towards 17,000 and probably much lower than that. And then back to these previous lows here at 16,590 or all the way down to 16,000. We're trading underneath the 200 moving average. It looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 and probably also 20 exponential and the 200, which should be a very, very shine indeed for this market. It kind of looked like at one point over here that we're, we're going to see this crossing and at this point we're most likely going to have it right now technical indicators are fairly mixed macd is bearish the stochastic is becoming bullish cci is bearish and the rsi is flat at this point so hope you find helpful. you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and good luck and thank you very much